a Visual Traders Studio training video using VTS and elements. A VTS end element is used to terminate a VTS function or drawing. In computer programming terminology, an end element represents a return statement. Some functions are designed to return a value. Consider as an example, a trivial function called add two numbers. This function will add two numbers and return the total sum. Functions that do not return a value are said to return void. This is common in many computer programming languages. A VTS drawing is a function. Any end elements on the drawing serve as returning a value from the function. Many VTS functions, including the QS functions of a quick start system, return a Boolean value. A Boolean value is either true or false. New VTS end elements can be added to the pad by clicking the New Elements pane on the toolbox, selecting the end icon and dragging it onto the pad. Also, an end element can be added by right-clicking the mouse and selecting the end item from the menu. Either of these methods will add a new end element to the pad. An end element has a single input link and no output link. All VTS elements, including the end element, have three buttons along the bottom. These buttons can be selected with a single mouse click. The question mark button on the bottom left of the element will open a help file when selected. The eye icon on the bottom middle of the element will open a window that displays information about the various forms of source code. At this time, this information is only used by VTS engineers. The most important button is the plus button in the bottom right of the element. It is used to configure the end element. Selecting the plus button will display the end configuration window. There are two pull-down menus available on the end configuration window. The data type menu and the assignment menu. The data type defines the kind of data that is returned by the end element. The VTS data types are double. The double data type is a real number. A real number means the number has a decimal point. The balance of an MT account is a real number, such as 10,000.99. String. The string data type is one or more characters, such as a word or a phrase. Integer. The integer data type is a whole number. A whole number means the number doesn't have a decimal point. For example, the number of total closed trades is an integer, such as 0, 1, 2, etc. There is no concept of 1.5 closed trades. Therefore, an integer type could be used to store a value for the number of closed trades. Boolean. The Boolean type is one of two values, true or false. Date and time. The datetime data type is used to store calendar dates and times. The data type itself is actually an integer. The current time is an integer, whose value is the number of seconds elapsed since midnight, January 1, 1970. This is a common approach, used in many computer languages, to define the current time. Color. The color data type is actually an integer type. This data type is defined to make color assignments easier. Void. The void data type is used if the function of the end element does not return a value.
The data type is set by selecting the type with your mouse. The data type of the end element must match the return type of the function or drawing. The return type of a function drawing can be seen and modified in the Properties window. A system drawing always returns the integer data type. This cannot be changed. This is because the main function of an EA, as defined by MQL, must return an integer. The assignment menu is used to assign a value to a variable. Selecting the arrow on the assignment text box displays a menu tree. The variable menu contains all of the existing variables. They are organized within a menu by the system where they were originally created. There is also a menu that contains variables for any functions that have been created within the system. When a VTS function that calculates a numeric value is defined, a variable of the same name, with a prefix of VAR, is created to hold the function's value. The MQL menu contains MQL built-in variables such as ask, bid, etc. Any of the menu items can be assigned to the variable by selecting and clicking the item. The Enter A value menu is used to assign a literal value to the variable. Double-clicking the menu will display an entry window. When an end element is configured, it is not saved in the toolbox. End elements are so easy to configure, it is easier to simply create a new one, rather than access the toolbox. This concludes the Using VTS End Elements training video. Thank you for watching and please see my other training videos for more information on using the Visual Trader Studio for MetaTrader.